Well, I am extremely happy, but also kind of sucks because I've been doing a lot of analysis on companies in the past two weeks. I've been trying to put out three to four videos a day on this channel about some long term investments and good RX. Holy shit is up 46 percent. I talked about this within my private mentorship group. I will link it down below and I was talking to them about good RX back here on 8.4 about how I wanted to get in, what I was planning to do. I broke down my fundamental analysis and the crazy thing is I was going to post a video about GoodRx today talking about the long-term potential that the stock had, but instead I went away on a bachelor party this weekend, never got the video out and I did end up taking a position. <laughs> I am up $8,000 on it so far. And uh, I really capped myself. I could have been up like 30, 40 grand today. So I want to explain the actual downside of selling cash secure puts, which is very minimum. I want to talk about the position I took and where I see good RX in the next couple of years. And ultimately why I even saw $5 as a potential long-term entry. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our discord community. The link is down below. Go ahead and join our private mentorship group. The link is down below as well. This alone could have paid for like nearly like 10 years of the mentorship group with this one trade slash investment. So go check it out. Now, I want to go through and talk about the two times that I went over this. So the first one was when I was talking about the actual potential for the company. And then the second time is when I actually entered the position. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight it very briefly. On 8.4, I posted within our Discord community, GoodRx is a company that is not profitable, but is spiking my interest. They are growing at an insane rate and should be profitable by this time next year. Judging on my analysis, $5 per share, or $5 per share would be an easy long-term massive investment. I think that I may start selling cash secured puts down around $5 and hope that it fills. Now, the reason that I saw this as a really solid move at the time, we're gonna go over this in a bit, is because of the analysis that I was looking at. So looking at this here, you can see that their revenue growth is nuts, 36%. Their profit margin is a loss of 1.9%, which is not bad at all, right? Like it's really not. They, they can easily, if they continue to grow the way they are and they can really focus on their bottom line, they should be profitable pretty damn soon. That was my analysis and that was my breakdown, right? That, that, that was the ultimate goal for good rx and what i thought was going to end up happening for the company as a whole um and and overall i believe i'm right uh free cash flow is 16 percent this is all pre-numbers i want you to this is before earnings this is a couple of days ago free cash flow is at 16 percent pe is not applicable because there's it's not a positive company at the time and then uh pe to free cash flow 21 so i decided this company is growing really quickly. I think it's pretty undervalued. What price will I pay for it? So I decided that looking at the next 10 years, if they could grow at a, this is a low side, five, 15% return or 15% revenue growth with a 3% profit margin with cash flow of 5% at a PE of 15, then paying a dollar 38 is a freaking steal. And now all these numbers are conservative. So that's not going to happen, right? But the real one is, I think, between these two numbers. So reality, but if they can do between the two of these, you should be making bank, bank. And you can see right here, if they can have 20% revenue growth, 5% profit margins, which I think they have better profit margins than that. Free cash flow of 10 and a PE of 20. Anything under four bucks is a freaking steal. But I think that I'm very, very conservative on my analysis for this company. And if they could do 25%, 10% margins, all of this, I think this is the, the, they can do this. Then anything under 13 is a deal. So for me, the risk versus reward is massive. And I took the position and what I did was I actually went through and I sold cash secured puts on good rx and i i'm up massive i i really went with more than i wanted to but i felt that i had such a, a decent breakthrough that i could end up you know the stock would have had to drop another dollar fifty so 
by October, and this was offering like a massive return. So I sold a cash secure put for $5 on GoodRx. I said, judging by my analysis, this stock is a steal at $5 per share. So if GoodRx drops to $5 by then, I will get an amazing price for a long-term investment. And I actually want the shares. This is where we're gonna talk about the downsides of this. I want the shares. However, if we run, I should make an 8% return on my investment in two months. Not bad. Very cheap and solid setup here. I would not go throwing 100% of your portfolio in this. Guys, this is where cash secured puts actually gives you a downside. Because if I were to hit with my entire position, my entire position that I wanted, if I were to put 100 Gs in this, I right now would be up 75%, $75,000. And instead, I'm up like 10 grand. Still a phenomenal phenomenal trade a phenomenal setup but i wanted those shares long term and so i took the safer route i know but it sucks so if you got in within the past couple of days or past couple of weeks even past couple of months like back in june 14th we were trading around five dollars congratulations i think this company has a lot to go i think that we really can see this company do some big things in the future i think it's at an insane deal am i buying now like would i be chasing this no my price target was 10 bucks my goal was that if i bought it at five dollars in october if i got stuck with those cash secure puts i'd sell it if we ever hit ten dollars so if you got in congrats guys absolutely insane have a great day i'll keep you updated peace